who? It is the Holy Spirit. Well, there's a lot to that. But I like to say that the Holy Spirit is Jesus without boundaries and limitations. The Holy Spirit is Jesus on the cloud, as you would put it in technical terms, like technology. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us boldness to evangelize. Think about what he did with Peter in Acts chapter 2. The same man who denied Jesus, now boldly proclaiming the gospel. And for every time he denied Jesus, a thousand people came to the Lord. Think about the Holy Spirit and how he stirs faith within the soul, causing us to believe for the miraculous in ways that we would not have otherwise believed. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to pray because no man or woman, no matter how anointed they are, knows the way into the presence of God. Only the Holy Spirit knows the way into the presence. And so in prayer, he guides us. In worship, he reveals Jesus and makes him real, causing our hearts to be stirred and burn with holy fire to where we cannot contain that passion that overflows with us as adoration of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to walk in holiness. So for those who are bound and weighed down by the shame and the sickness that is sin, the Holy Spirit offers freedom. He is the holiness spirit, the one who breaks the power and the chains that the, even those habits that people have had for years, he breaks those addictions. He breaks those bondages. The Holy Spirit is the one who delivers the captives from demonic oppression. The Holy Spirit is the one who moves in us and gives us revelation of the word. Sometimes when we read the word, we're saying, I just want to see see Jesus. He causes the information of the word to go from just information to revelation and revelation brings transformation. The Holy Spirit is the one who goes with us and gives us the words to speak when we don't know what we should say. In those moments where we're saying, Holy Spirit, help me. I don't know how to win this one to the Lord. I don't know how to speak. The Holy Spirit will stir within you words that come straight from the Father. The Holy Spirit is the one who opens the heart of the sinner, causing them to go from stubborn, stone-hearted individuals to people who bow before Jesus as Lord. The Holy Spirit is the one who anoints us for ministry and appoints us into the call of God. He takes ordinary lives and makes them lives that transform the world. I like to say that a single moment spent in the presence of the Holy Spirit can transform your life, but a life spent in the presence of the Holy Spirit can transform the nations. The Holy Spirit is that something more. He's that deep stirring. What was it do you think that caused the martyrs to lay down their lives and say, take my blood, we want to preach the gospel. Jesus is Lord. That's the Holy Spirit stirring the love of God in that heart, shedding the love of God abroad in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us all the promises of the Father. The Holy Spirit is the one who causes us to walk in the perfect will of God, not by the day, not by the hour, but down to the millisecond like you, you really love the Holy I Spirit. Could go on and on and on.